Good morning. It's about 5.30 a.m. I'm going home. Just got my temperature taken at, oh, oh no. Uh-oh. <laughs> One second. Just got my temperature taken at check-in or boarding. And now I'm about to get on the plane. Guys, I'm home. You wanna know how I know? Well, I made it to my final destination. It's freaking gorgeous. This place is my ideal place. I'm gonna like it here for 14 days. The travel is pretty easy, pretty smooth. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna show you over the next 14 days, but I'm gonna try and keep it interesting. up in a beautiful loft and so I guess technically today is my first full day in quarantine there are kind of like three or four criteria that I want to follow throughout quarantine one is body movement every single day two is mind stimulation and mindfulness every single day three is kind of like self-care not that the other two aren't, but more like um, exploring a, uh, no, that's a lie. Literally just like doing a face mask, painting my nails, watching a movie, playing a board game. The fourth, I guess, would be quality time. So here we go, here's today one. Good morning. First thing I do, since I just got off a flight yesterday, legs up the wall. And I'll probably listen to a podcast. I'll play some nice music. Since it is the first day of quarantine, I figured I would kind of walk you through exactly what I'm doing. But right now, I'm just kind of unpacking all my stuff. I basically moved everything from LA. I'm making my way home to Toronto and I'm quarantining here with my boyfriend. So I have, I brought two full suitcases of stuff and I'm just trying to figure out what to do with it all, where to put it. Wow, the lighting's really not good here, and neither is my hair. Okay, I'm going to wash my face. I'm gonna show you me wash my face. We're gonna do it now, after I put away my products. Not sponsored, although I wish it was CeraVe. Oh my God, please, please CeraVe, I love you. Okay, first things first, we wet the face. Wait, now first you wash your hands. Wash your hands always, especially during COVID, but always before you touch your face. Then you cleanse. I think this needs to be said that I am not a skincare expert or influencer, nor am I an influencer, <laughs> just a person. Rinse. Oh, water everywhere. All right, the floor is soaking wet. There's nothing pretty about this. Because the bathroom is soaking. We're gonna dab. Where is my other serum? This is concerning. Oh my God, did I toss it out? Cool. Here's my dilemma. And if there are any skincare gurus or junkies, anyone knowledgeable, I am quarantining for the next 14 days, meaning I probably won't see the sun a lot. Do I put on the AM CeraVe has SPF and it has sunscreen. Normally I put this on every single morning because that's when I go outside, usually I'm allowed, but I'm not, so. Et voila, we're done. Now, like now the day has started. We're gonna do a couple spritz of something good, body mist. You know what, I've had this for a few years and haven't really, it's expired. Cool. There we go. 
Let the day begin. I'm one of those people who will never leave the house without brushing my eyebrows, but often without brushing my hair. It makes more of a difference, although my hair is not doing great today. Oh well. I feel like a whole new woman. I'm ready to conquer the day. So my day has been pretty chill. Um, I've just kind of been organizing things and getting settled in. Anyways, I'm gonna get my green drink together, which is a staple every morning. So the packaging is not great because I just flew, so I had to like conserve space. So they're in little Ziploc baggies. Here, I'm almost done, it's my last scoop. It's um, the Genuine Health Greens Plus. Love this stuff. I usually have this every single morning and this is the best way to get your greens in. Start the morning, you just check that box and you're good. And then I add in a scoop of the Genuine Health Clean Collagen. It's good for my tummy, I feel good, I feel healthy, and then I get on with the rest of my day. So we're gonna whip that up now. Water. Scoop of Greens Plus. Scoop of collagen. Genuine Health comes to my rescue literally every single day. I don't think there is a day where I don't have a Genuine Health product. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, I just finished a quick little body movement. It was like 10 minutes, I think. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. It's not even noon yet and I, Pretty much organized most of my clothes, washed my face, moved the body, I meditated. And so I feel like I've checked a lot of the things off that I wanted to do already and we still have many more hours to go before it's sleep time. Um, but I thought I would show you some of the snacks that I brought back. One of my carry-ons was just straight snacks. Some snacks that we can't get here in Canada. This is my pantry full of Trader Joe's. Like this is a must. The Trader Joe's peanut butter pretzels. The Trader Joe's speculous cookie butter. So good. Also Trader Joe's, it's a nori komi furikaki. Oh, embarrassing, I totally butchered that. The Purely Elizabeth banana nut butter, grain-free granola, oh my god, are you kidding? This, Trader Joe's savory banana and nuts trail mix. Oh my god. Olive and herbs mixed nuts from Trader Joe's. What else? Oh, these guys, the dark chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. This is the cashew butter with orange vanilla and dark chocolate. My genuine health vegan protein protein bars and dark chocolate almond. Those are my snacks. Am I missing anything? Probably. Hold on. No, I think I got it all. Those are my snacks. So here's to snacking for the next two weeks. Oh, I also picked up. I'm going to do some admin, answer some emails that I've kind of been neglecting. Um, and then I'm going to put on Afterlife, which is a show that my boyfriend really tried to get me to watch. I don't know why, I didn't really take his advice. Uh, Sarah said that it was really good, so obviously I listened to Sarah. Probably put it on all day, binge it, and uh, you know, get stuff done. Emails, I might hop on this bike in a little bit just to get the legs moving after a flight, continue organizing, and then uh, yeah, I don't know. Just do things. How is it only noon? It's not even noon. I just put a poll on Instagram um, asking if you guys wanted me to vlog. Little did you know I already was. Um, and the majority of you are saying yes, but it's day one. We're like six hours in and I'm running out of things to show you. Send me ideas <laughs> or else this is gonna be very boring. One more try. That was good. Look at that upper lip sweat. That's nice. I just did a Peloton spin bike class. We don't have a Peloton bike. That's just a regular spin bike. Whew. And it worked. So, yeah, check that off for the day. Now I'm gonna keep watching Afterlife. There's a bee in here. I open the window, there it is. I don't know what to do, what do I do? Oh! 
Oh, it's out. Go, 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 go. Oh, crap. Shit. It like flies around the window, but then, oh, there, just go out. Bee's gone. Made myself a little snack. Have some coconut yogurt mixed with a scoop of the Genuine Health vanilla protein powder and some frozen blueberries and then topped it with some granola. A little midday pick me up and I'm watching Afterlife still. Well, not still, I'm only on the second episode. So it's not like I've been like binging it. I've done pretty good so far. It's currently almost three. We're doing it, we're doing it. Okay, I am on episode six. So I thought I'd take a little break, do a little, I don't know, something on the mat because I just signed up for the Lululemon virtual Seaweeds half marathon in two weeks. So like straight out of quarantine, I'll be running a, not the half marathon, sorry, the 10K, you know, the, uh, the lower level. That's what I'll be doing. Um, and so I figured I should probably stay in shape. I'm gonna pause Netflix, sweat a little bit again. Currently time check, uh, almost 5.30. Cool, this day is flying by. The sweat, just awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, so we're off to a good start, getting ready for that marathon <laughs> on the bike. Wish me luck. Can we also just talk about how hard it is for instructors to spin and talk at the same time. That I don't understand, I don't get that. It's nine o'clock and I forgot to vlog dinner, but I whipped up essentially a kitchen sink meal. We haven't really gone grocery shopping. I'm not allowed to leave. The most random meal together. It was like peppers, edamame, zoodles, a sugar snap peas, <laughs> those onion and then a fried egg on. It was literally just a concoction of everything that was left in the fridge. So that was dinner. And we just chilled for the rest of the evening. We're gonna go to bed soon. Day one in quarantine is officially done. Here's to 13 more days. For my evening skincare routine. <gasps> I can kind of feel it working. Glowing skin tomorrow. And there you go. That's my nighttime routine. Yeah. Not for your face. Not for your face. Not for your face. This one's for your face. God. You put it on his face. Like most of the things um, I put on my face, I don't know what it does. I could go into details about why it's so good. I don't really know though. I saw a bunch of actual influencers talk about it. So I felt left out. So I bought it. This was also a product I bought and was influenced by, and I don't really, I'm just kind of waiting for this to run out because I don't really notice. I don't really know. I'm going back in with this guy, which I have no idea what it does. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this. I don't get it. People influence me. I'm very impressionable, apparently. I was told to put it on in the mornings. Here we are, I'm putting it on in the mornings. Again, don't know if I'll repurchase this. There's no way those commercials where the girls are washing their faces and it's just like a splash of water. That's not realistic. 